Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the new Paul Tyson Field on the campus of Waco High School for this District 22 5A soccer match between the hometown Waco Lions and the visitors from Lake Belton. The Lions start the day 11-3-3 on the year, but more importantly, they're 7-1 in district action. Tied at the stop of the standings with University at 7-1. The Broncos from Lake Belton come in 10-5-2 on the season, and they are just behind University and Waco in the standings at 5-3, two games behind the leaders. This is the second time that these two teams have met on the pitch this year. Earlier this year over at Lake Belton, Waco High came away with a 3 to nothing win. So Lake Belton looking to avenge that loss on their opponent's field. Waco High in the red jerseys and black shorts. And Lake Belton in the all-white. Ball's going to go across the back line, so they'll get a goal kick for Waco High. Roberto Alarcon in the goal for Waco High tonight. The other Waco High starters include James Cruz, Daniel Reyes, Jonathan Middleton, Angel Acuna, Max Pineda, Gael Oliveira, Diego Salazar, Isaiah Pullen, Anthony Gonzalez, and Jonathan Guerrero. Lake Belton looked like they had maybe a scoring opportunity there. Waco stays on the move here, but the ball is taken in by the keeper. But a warm night for late February here in Waco. Game time temperature of 73 degrees. We do have a fairly strong wind blowing across the pitch from the far sideline toward the near sideline. It may affect balls. May not. Waco High looking for a scoring opportunity here, but the keeper once again comes out and takes care of it. That's Micah Hudson for the Broncos. Battle for a possession. Waco High trying to move it into their offensive third, but Lake Belton takes it away. Looks for a scoring opportunity here. Waco High does a good job of peeling back its defense. Ball's kicked out of bounds by James Cruz to force a throw in for the Broncos. Good job by Waco High to take possession away there. Good job of passing here by the Lions to move it in to mid pitch. Kick toward the far left side to try to set up and got a takedown and a foul going to be called. And Waco High is going to get a free kick. Looked like Max Pineda was taken down by Tristan Robin. So Waco High will get a free kick here and maybe the first real scoring opportunity of the game. Ball's knocked away. Keeper gets it all the way back out to mid pitch. Wake Ohio get the throw in. First year that Wake Ohio soccer program has played here at the new Paul Tyson Field as this field is just recently completed. Lots of renovations going on on the campus of Wake Ohio School.
kick ahead, but the defense back there to knock it away for the Broncos. They're defending was Hector Herrera. Nice job on the header to try to get position there by Sam Ron, but it's finally kicked out of bounds by Wake Ohio on a defensive play. David Payan will give way on the throw in to Tristan Robin. That's headed away by Waco High, and now the Lions on the move. Dribble to a mid-pitch, pass up ahead. Going to be knocked away by the defensive line. Waco High's back line now doing their job to keep Lake Belton from setting up a scoring opportunity. Ball kicked out of bounds by Acuna. Goes off of a Lake Belton Bronco, so Waco will get the throw in. Isaiah Pullen with the throw in. Waco looking for a scoring opportunity here. Ball kicked up in the air and going to be taken in by the keeper. Kuna got a little too much air under that one. Lake Belton looking for a scoring opportunity here, but that's too easy for Alarcon to stop there on, on a bounce. You can maybe tell that the wind is favoring the team that is going from left to right on your screen. Waco High trying to move into a scoring opportunity here, but it's taken away by for the moment. Knocked out of bounds. Broncos take the throw in. Right in front of the Waco High bench. Battle for possession here. One for the moment by Lake Belton. Once again, the Waco defense stops the progress. And ball kicked out of bounds, and Waco High will take a throw in. And when these two teams met back on January the 27th, almost a month ago, Waco High came away with a 3 nothing win. That was the first loss in district play for Lake Belton. They had tied University the week before. But got the win on penalty kicks. Free kick coming up for Waco High. Lake Belton also had a 0-0 tie with Belton, but came away with the win there. They're trying to stop a two-game losing streak as they lost to Ellison and University in back-to-back -back games. Wake Ohio lost to University one week ago tonight, but on Friday of this past Friday, they beat Colleen 2-1. Stay in contention for the district title. Top four teams in the district will advance to the postseason. These two teams in university appear to be shoe-ins for one of those four spots. Lake Belton on the move. Knocked away for the moment by Wake Ohio and a good defensive play by Guerrero. Waco's going to get the throw in here from just in front of their bench.
Throw in taken away, though, and a tripping. Foul is called on Waco High. And we got a time called as we're going to get a yellow card. Issued to Waco High's Jonathan Guerrero for the tripping penalty. Well, that'll give Lake Belton a scoring opportunity here with a free kick. Dawson Young setting up for that free kick. Coming in for Waco High is Pierre Diata. Waiting for our official to set things back in motion. In a position to Waco Wall, the proper distance away. Young makes his approach. Low liner that's headed away by Waco High. And a good job of moving it out by the Waco defense. Going to go out of bounds. Waco maintains possession. Throw in to be taken by Isaiah Pullian. Apparently a pushing foul. Waco High going to get a free kick. Pullian passes it back and forth with Gail Oliveira. Out of bounds off of Lake Belton. Waco will again take the throw in. Forty minute halves in high school soccer. We've already played ten minutes and thirty seconds of this one with no score. Battle for possession here. Lake Belton clears it out. Nice header there by Waco High's Diego Salazar to stop the progress. Waco High takes the throw in here. Oh, I'm sorry, we got a foul called against Lake Belton. Another free kick for Waco High. Kicked all the way across the pitch. Waco High trying to set up a scoring opportunity here. Shot at goal is going to go wide to the left, though. Oliveira, Jr. attempting the scoring opportunity there. Still scoreless with... 28-18 left to go in the first half. Lake Belton kicker Micah Hudson gets it out to mid-pitch. Waco High trying to settle the ball down. But Lake Belton able to keep it on their end of the field. Nice defensive play there by Waco High's James Cruz. To bring a throw in for the Broncos. Tristan Robin with a nice throw in, but headed away by Waco High. Broncos with some nice passing there. Fancy move to steal it there, but Waco High right in the big middle of that kick. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a Lake Belton throw in. Once again, it's Tristan Robin. 
senior going to take that throw in. Ball ricochets around. Waco High able to clear it out. It's going to be another throw in, though, for Lake Belton. Lake Belton has a, or excuse me, Waco High has a substitute ready to come into the game. Ball well, once again headed out by Waco High. Put right back in the scoring position by Lake Belton, but offside called. Wake Ohio get the free kick, and now we'll be able to get their substitute in. Perez with the free kick. Nice job of dribbling there by Diata. Move the ball upfield. Centering pass. Knocked away by the defense for Lake Belton. Lake Bacon Belton now on the run. Takes it into the right corner. And it will be a throw in for Lake Belton from the far side. Tristan Robin has been taking care of those throw ins. He'll take care of it here as well. Once again, ball headed straight up in the air. The keeper finally comes out and takes care of it. Roberto Alicarn smothering it up. You notice that the kicks he makes from the goal don't go quite as far as the one from the right side of the field. And that'll tell you which way the wind's blowing. A little shoving match there in the battle for the ball. Waco High ends up with it. Play continues. Maybe a scoring opportunity here for Waco High. Got a whistle. And it looks like the ball went over the back line. So that'll be a goal kick for Lake Belton. But once again, Micah Hudson will Get to kick it away. Back into the game for Waco High is Johan Guerrero, 19. Foul call, Waco High will get the free kick. A little less than 23 minutes left to go in the first half. We're still scoreless. Nice pass there by Diata. Guerrero keeps it alive. Big kick at goal by Diata, but it's going to be Right to the keeper. Hudson takes care of it. Rico High will have that favoring win in the second half. Rico once again trying to go on the attack. 
Nice passing here. Shot centered up. Nobody there to knock it in. It's going to go across the back line. And once again, Lake Belton will have the goal kick. Waco High started district play with six consecutive wins. Four of those were shutouts. Shut out both Colleen and Lake Belton before beating Belton High School four to one. Then they shut out Chaparral. Beat Shoemaker five to one, then shut out Ellison nine nothing. Kick a little too strong. Lake Ohio unable to run it down. It'll be a Lake Belton throw in. Broncos are going to bring in Felix New for Cash Robin. Lions trying to set up another scoring opportunity here. With some very nice passing. Off to the right side. Tried to center it up, but it's knocked away by the Broncos for the moment. Fancy footwork there by Daniel Reyes. To the left side, trying to set up a crossing pass, but the Broncos knocked that one away as well. Comes all the way out to mid pitch. Good pass over to Pullen. Pulling up ahead for a possible scoring opportunity here. Ball's going to go across the back line. Waiting for a ruling here. The center official going to meet with the side official. They say there was no harm, no foul. So it'll be a goal kick for Lake Belton. Approaching 19 minutes left to go in our first half, and we're still scoreless between the Lake Belton Broncos and the Waco Lions. Now Lake Belton once again trying to get a substitute into the game. Hector Herrera leaving the game. And coming in is number nine, Ryan Reyes. Also entering the game is Efren Reyes Lopez. Now we have a stoppage of play while the center referee tries to get some time put back on the clock because I don't think the clock keeper was aware that he had asked for time to be stopped. Nice pass ahead, a scoring opportunity, knocked away by the keeper. Hudson able to take care of that one. Really good play there by Pullen, but apparently a handball by Lake Belton will give the free kick to Waco. Paul pinballs around, comes back out. 
Robin picked it up, but could not keep the dribble going, and it goes out of bounds. Waco gets the throw in. Nice job of weaving through traffic there by Alvera. Puts it off to the left side. Kohai drops it back, looking for an opening. Working from the right side. Pass into the right corner. Sanchez, a kick toward goal. Going to be knocked away. Cleared out once again by Lake Belton. 16 and a half minutes left to go in our first half. No score between Waco and Lake Belton. Throw in on the far side for Waco High. Scoring opportunity, but once again, the keeper, Micah Hudson, positioned perfectly. And punts it all the way down into his offensive third. Being knocked out of bounds on the defensive play by Waco High's Gabe Perez. David Payen going to take the throw in as they get the substitute into the game. Dawson Young back into the contest for Lake Belton. Ball knocked off the head of Isaiah Pullen out of bounds. Lake Belton throw in. Tristan Robin. Ball is headed away by Waco. And then goes across the back line off of Lake Belton, so Waco will get the goal kick. Under 15 minutes to play in our first half, and it's scoreless between Waco High and Lake Belton. Waco quickly moves the ball upfield. Looking for a scoring opportunity here. Unable to center it up. Now they're able to get center it up. But it's kicked out and cleared out. Max Pineda had a fairly good opportunity there. Goes into touch where Waco High will throw it in. Once again, out of bounds. This time it'll be a Lake Belton throw in. Yada with the header. Michael with a chance to move it up the far side. A whistle and a Tripping foul against Lake Belton. Waco will get the free kick. Well, Lacan, the keeper, makes a mistake there. And Belton unable to take advantage of it. Tristan Robin had a big scoring opportunity there, but good job by Alarcon to stop the first kick, and then the next one went wide to the left. But Waco High gets a goal kick. With under 13 minutes left to go in the first half. Waco gets the throw in. Nice pass downfield. Picked up on the dribble by Pineda. And once again, 
Hudson, the keeper, stops the scoring opportunity. Apparently a pushing foul called against Waco. We'll bring about a free kick for Lake Belton. Dawson Young takes the kick. Alarcon able to save it. Out in front of the net. Whistle and a foul. Goes against Waco High. Lake Belton will get the free kick. Once again, Young with that kick. Ball headed away. Nice passing here by Waco High. And we got a whistle. Stoppage of play. And a yellow card for an elbow. Give it to Chris, Tristan Robin. Well, Tristan Robin heads to the sideline. Waco Ohio get a free kick. Waiting for our official to give his explanation to the coaching staff for Lake Belton, headed by Aaron Estes. Juan Lopez, the head coach for the Waco Lions, assisted by Cesar Adame and Scott Lane. Waco maybe with an opportunity here in front of the net. Turn and shoot, but it goes off the football crossbar. That's above the soccer crossbar. That's out of bounds. So a goal kick for Lake Belton. We played 30 minutes of this one and there's still no score. Final 10 minutes of the first half ticking off. Gotta get a Waco substitution. Coming in is number 18, Anthony Gonzalez. Another pushing foul called against Lake Belton. The free kick. Trying to set things up for Waco High. Maybe a scoring opportunity here. Another whistle and a foul. And Going to go to Lake Belton this time. Micah Hudson with a low liner out to mid pitch. Teams battle for possession at midfield. Ohio with some fancy footwork, finally able to take control. 
Moves it up to the left corner, looking to set up another scoring opportunity. Pineda was there, but it was just a little out of his reach. And Micah Hudson takes that scoring opportunity away. Another whistle, another foul called. And it looks like we're going to have a yellow card given to the Broncos 16, Nathan Sanders. And coming in for the Broncos now is Nathan Ogden. Time stopped at 7.27 for the yellow card. Back to play. Now we're going to get another yellow card. This one's going to go against Lake Belton's Dawson Young, he's off to the sideline. Taking his place will be Hector Herrera, number 10. Daniel Reyes waiting for be able to take the free kick after the center official explains to the Lake Belton coaching staff the reason for the yellow card. A bit of a protest on the part of head coach Aaron Estes, but the official will stick by his call. Belton clears out that scoring opportunity. Under seven minutes left in the first half. Long pass. Alarcon comes out and takes that away. Tried to pass that ball up ahead to Hector Herrera, but just a little past him. Good passing up ahead. Kick toward goal goes behind the goal. Later, once again on the attack. Keeper Micah Hudson had to chase down the ball on the other side of the track. Mid pitch. Wake Ohio once again on the attack here. They're coming out to stop it. Coming up with the save is the keeper, Micah Hudson. Many times a team after a scoring opportunity like that fails is looking for the opportunity to. Get something going. We got a little pushing foul there against Lake Belton. So Waco gets the free kick. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a Waco throw in. But many times that's how goals are scored is when everybody concentrates on one end of the field, all of a sudden the ball gets to the other end of the field in a hurry and someone is there to take advantage of it. 
That's out of bounds off of Lake Belton. Waco will take the throw in. With under four and a half minutes left in the first half. Isaiah Pullen. Waco trying to keep that scoring opportunity alive. Nice back kick there. Alvarigo couldn't catch up to it. Lake Belton will get a free kick here. Or actually a throw in. That throw in came a little too far upfield from where the ball went out of bounds. So they re-throw it in. Again, a battle for possession at the uh, Waco High with another scoring opportunity here, but the keeper Hudson comes out and stops it. Waco's defense has done a superb job here in the first half. Lake Belton has not had that many opportunities to score. Going to get one possibly here with a free kick from mid-pitch. Headed back down by Waco High. Finally cleared out by the defense. The header moves it up. Kicks it all the way to the Lake Belton bench. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're still scoreless. Go high trying to move the ball back out to mid pitch, but Lake Belton trying to keep it in their offensive third. Kicked away by the back line. Belton picks up the dribble. Maybe a possibility here, but here comes Alarcon to save the day. The keeper, Roberto Alarcon, stops that scoring opportunity. Minute 10 left to go in the period. Foul's going to give Waco High a free kick near mid pitch. And got a pushing foul called against Lake Belton. Waco High once again will get the free kick. Less than a minute. Ball headed. Finally cleared out by Lake Belton. Waco High trying to keep the pressure on here, but Lake Belton really clears it out with 25 seconds left. Alarcon will kick it out to the near side. Goes out of bounds off of Waco High. A throw in for the Broncos. Good defensive play there as time runs out in our first half of play. We played 40 minutes and we've decided nothing is our halftime score is Waco High nothing and Lake Belton nothing. Back with the second half after this.
Back now with second half action here at the new Paul Tyson Field on the campus of Waco High School. As the Lions and the visiting Broncos from Lake Belton have fought to a scoreless tie for the first 40 minutes of this one. Again, this is the second meeting of the two schools in this soccer season. Waco High winning at Lake Belton back on January the 27th. I score three to nothing. Waco High comes in 11, three and three on the year, seven and one in district play. Lake Belton 10, five and two on the year and five and three in district action. Waco tied with University at the top of the standings at seven and one. Lake Belton two games behind at five and three. Then it's Belton at four and three. Shoemaker at three and five. Same with Chaparral at three and five. Ellison at five, or make that two five and one. And Colleen is winless in eight games. And we are underway with our second half. Lake Belton looking to put on an attack early here. Get a throw in for Lake Belton here. Maybe an early scoring opportunity. Ball is kicked away and sure enough, they come up with the goal. Coming up with the score for Lake Belton is Sam Rahm, a senior. Just 32 seconds into the second half. And gives Lake Belton a 1-0 lead. But now Waco High looking to answer. And the prevailing win tonight favors Waco High here in the second half. It'll be at their back. Lions trying to set something up from the opposite side of the field, running up the far sideline. Going to get a free kick for Waco High on a penalty. Force Waco High to move the ball back where it went out of bounds or where the position was when the foul was called. Kick toward the goal is headed away by Lake Belton. They clear it out. Waco trying to keep the attack on here. Kicked out of bounds by Lake Belton. Waco will take the throw in. Broncos with a one nothing score. Scoring with the, with the within the first 32 seconds of the second half. Waco trying to set up a scoring opportunity here. Pass is knocked away, though. Nice pass there into the left corner. Ball's going to go across the back line. It'll be a corner kick for Waco High. Maybe a scoring opportunity here for the Lions. Daniel Reyes to take the corner kick. But it 
It's headed away by the Broncos. Big kick though on goal is going to go far to the left and stopped by the keeper, Micah Hudson. Kicked right back toward Hudson's way. Waco High able to keep the pressure on, but Belton turns it around. Out of bounds, Waco High gets the throw in. Out of bounds off of Waco, so the throw in goes to Belton. Substitution for Lake Belton. Entering the game is Brian Reyes, number nine. Waco takes the throw in. Pass it to the far side to set something up there. Olvera takes control. Centers it up. Knocked away, though, by the Broncos' defense. Waco still on the attack. Once again, knocked out by the defense. Maybe a scoring opportunity here. Ball's going to go across the back line. Going to be a goal kick. It's off of Waco. Past the five minute mark of the second half and Lake Belton has a one nothing lead. Waco has been the more aggressive team as far as keeping the ball in their offensive third all night. The keeper is going to come out and pick that one up. Battle for possession at mid-pitch. Waco High able to control it for the moment. Scoring opportunity. Knocked away by the defense for the moment. Still opportunity here. Finally cleared out. Waco keeping the pressure on. Missed opportunity there. Set up pretty well, but just unable to clear it into the goal was Isaiah Pullen. We'll get another substitute for Waco High. Checking in is Anthony Gonzalez. Tried to pass it into the right corner, but nobody there. Another goal kick for the Broncos. The header helps Waco High keep it in their offensive third. Nice defensive move there. Do have a foul called. They're going to give the yellow card to Cash Robin for Lake Belton. For 
the dangerous play. Despite the yellow card against Cash Robin. Lake Belton's going to get the free kick. Little cat and mouse here as to exactly where the Ball is going to be, and now a yellow card going to be called on Waco High's Angel Acuna. That brings in Jonathan Middleton. Well, Lake Belton looked like they were going to get a scoring opportunity there. Alarcon was a little bit out of position. Not out of position there, though. Able to stop that shot on goal. Brings it to the near side. Nice back pass there, but a good defensive play by the Broncos, Dawson Yuck. Well, Waco takes the throw in with 31 minutes left to go in the contest. Again, out of bounds and a Waco throw in. Seems that our Wind has gotten stronger as the game's gone by, and now a center referee overrules and says a throw in for Lake Belton. Lake O, though, able to clear it out. Pass up ahead, but cleared away on a good defensive play by the Broncos' Cole Francis. Throw in for the Broncos. Out of bounds off of Belton. Waco takes the throw in. Pretty fancy work by Man Spineda there. Foul called against the Broncos. Or excuse me, it's against Waco. Broncos will get the free kick. Waco with some nice passing here. Moving the ball downfield. Maybe a scoring opportunity for Pineda. Defensive play there by Cole Francis. And we're going to have a foul called and a yellow card issued to Cole Francis. Pineda going to get a penalty kick. Now timeout for the yellow card. As Pineda gets back on his feet. Clock stop with 28.48 left to go in the game. And actually it's going to be a goal kick 
for Waco High. Pineda leaves the game. And a couple of Broncos entering the game. And that's Aiden Renfro and Nathan Sanders. We go once again trying to set up a scoring opportunity here. Waco's going to get the free kick. Let's go, Waco! The header goes over the top of the crossbar. Waco High misses a scoring opportunity there. 28 minutes left to go in this one. Lake Belton with a 1 0 lead. They lost to Waco 3 to nothing at their place in the first half of the round robin. And now, once again, we have time called. And this is possibly for an injury. Is Gabe Perez being looked at by the coaching staff? Head coach Juan Lopez also out there on the field. Coming back on the field for Waco High is Max Pineda. Back to action we go. Pushing foul called against Waco High brings about a free kick. Now we got time called again. As the official talks to both teams here, trying to settle them down. Stop some of the pushing and shoving. Get back to playing soccer. Don't use your arms, don't use your elbows. Or I'm gonna write your name down in my little black book. So. Oh. Both teams getting a bit of a tongue lashing here from our officials. Trying to get them to settle down and play soccer and stop the pushing and the shoving. Well, message delivered. We'll see whether or not it's been understood. Long kick toward goal. Diata knocks it away for Waco High. Lake Belton trying to keep the ball in their offensive third. Unable to do so. It's going to be a throw in for Waco High. Good teamwork here as Oliveira moves it up field. Maybe a scoring opportunity here, but falling down. Waco High unable to finish that one off. Jonathan Middleton maybe had a chance there, but stubbed his toe in the turf. Handball. Going to give the ball back to Lake Belton on a free kick. The keeper, Micah Hudson, out to take the free kick.
Waco again trying to set up a opportunity to tie the game. Oliveira passes it up ahead. Kick toward goal is going to be high and wide. That's too much on that one. Played a little more than 14 minutes in their second half. After a scoreless first half, Lake Belton scored 32 seconds into our second half to have a 1-0 lead. Ball's out of bounds. Waco High will get the throw in. Pineda with the throw in. Lake Belton all trying to clear it out. Alvaro weaves his way through Broncos. Passes it to Pineda from the left side. A centering pass is knocked across the back line and it'll be a goal kick, or excuse me, a corner kick for Waco High. Daniel Reyes sets up the corner kick. Taken by the keeper. Micah Hudson just jumps above everybody and takes that one away. With a large kick all the way down into the offensive third. Trying to set up something for his offense. Waco's defenders are there. No foul called. Waco on the move. Maybe trying to set up another scoring opportunity here. From the right side this time. Kick's going to go across the back line and a goal kick coming. All right, it was off of Lake Belton, so a corner kick from the far side. Daniel Reyes has it set up. Header is knocked in the air. Ball continues to be headed around. Kicked out of bounds by Lake Belton. No, out of bounds by Waco High. Goal kick for Lake Belton. Diata decides to drop it back for Waco High. Lake Belton now trying to set up in their offensive third. Kick toward goal was knocked away on the back line. Defensive play there by James Cruz. Rivera kicks it up ahead. Decent passing at mid-pitch, helping Waco move the ball upfield. Way to pass it to the near side. Scoring opportunity here, and it's good. Waco High ties it. Max Pineda with the score. Comes with 22 minutes left to go in the contest. And we're all knotted up at one apiece, 18 minutes into the second half. Olivera 
Pushes it ahead. Pineda on the right side back to Olvera. Olvera double teamed over there, has it knocked out of bounds. Throw in coming. Michael trying to move it into the right corner. There comes Hudson to stop it all. And clear it back out to mid pitch. Diata with the header. Takes it back Waco Highway. Waco High is going to get the throw in here. James Cruz set to get it thrown in. Gets it to Diata. That'll be a Bronco throw in. And we got substitutes on the other side for Waco High. Gabe Perez going out. Alex Battencourt coming in. That's going to go out of bounds. Waco High will get the throw in. Another throw in for the Lions. Under 20 minutes to go. We're halfway through the second half. It's all tied up at one apiece. Actually, a foul was called on Lake Belton, so Waco High gets the free kick. Right there in front of the Belton goal gives Waco High an opportunity to score, but it's cleared out. A really nice clearing kick by Bruce Anchewi. Now Lake Belton gets the throw in. Tristan Robin with the strong throw in toward the goal. Ball headed around a couple of times. Waco High with some good passing. Gets it off to Olvera. Kicks it out front. Picks the dribble back up. Kicks it to the middle. Shot at goal. Knocked away for the moment. Waco trying to stay on the attack. Shot toward goal is going to cross in front of it. Go out of bounds and bring another goal kick for the Broncos. Another substitution for Waco High. Coming into the game, Isaiah Pullen. Quickly he gets into action with a header. I'm sorry, that's uh, Nathan Sanders for Lake Belton that checked in. Wrong 16, Lark. Kicked out of bounds by Waco. It'd be a throw in for the Broncos. Under 18, left to play. Lake Belton won. Waco won. Battle for the ball here. Cruz with some fancy footwork, able to finally clear it out to the other side of the pitch. Up to Pineda. Pineda has his pocket picked for the moment. Now that's taken away by Olvera. Now we have a whistle and a foul called. 
Anthony Gonzalez is down for Waco High. Clock stopped us. Once again, we're going to have a yellow card issue. That's going to go against David Payen for the Broncos. And now the training staff out to look at the injured Lion. Sixteen forty six left to play. Wake Ohio one, Lake Belton one. Anthony Gonzalez seems to be okay. He's going to walk off on his own power. But he will be replaced on the pitch. Jonathan Middleton back in. Ball headed to the left side where Hudson will pick it up and kick it back out to the middle of the field. Broncos looking to set up a possible scoring opportunity here. Waco High's defense finally gets back and triple teamed. And Waco High takes it away. Taken right back though. Diata there to defend. Ball goes to the far side. Saved from going out of bounds. Wake Ohio able to control it for a moment, but Lake Belton once again kicks it goalward, headed away by Wake Ohio. Ball headed toward out of bounds. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a Waco High throw in. Fifteen and a half minutes left to go in this tied contest. One to one our score. Both goals have come in the second period. Belton has three defenders back with just two attackers, and Pineda will wait for help to arrive. Down to the right corner now. Centered it up. Knocked away for the moment. Waco again on the attack from the corner. Misses behind the goal. Checking back into the game for Lake Belton is David Payen. The ball's kicked back out from the goal. Nice job of stealing the pass by Waco High. Olvera with a shot toward goal is going to go wide to the left. Ohio continues to attack the goal here, trying to get the go-ahead goal. They trailed 1-0 just 32 seconds into the second half, but scored the tying goal 18 minutes into the period. Lake Belton with control from the mid pitch. Pass over to the near side. Scoring opportunity for Robin, but it's going to go wide to the right. That's Cash Robin, the sophomore. Got a brother, senior Tristan Robin, also on the team. Fifteen 
13 minutes left in regulation. One to one our score. Waco High with a goal kick here. Waco trying to take control here. Kicks it up ahead into the right corner. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a Waco throw in. Kuna able to get that to go off of a belted Bronco. Pulling with the throw in. All once again across the back line. Another goal kick for Hudson and Lake Belton. Headed back toward the goal for Waco High. A whistle. Play stopped. I believe we had a foul called against Lake Belton. No, it was against Waco. Lake Belton's going to get the throw at the uh, free kick. Good battle for possession here. It's going to go out of bounds and be a Lake Belton throw in with 11 minutes left to go. Cash Robin with a scoring opportunity here. will kick it in front of the goal, and it's headed into the goal. The header by David Payen. Gives Lake Belton the lead once again. Comes with 10.44 left to play. Off the centering pass from Cash Robin. Lake Belton trying to avenge that loss to the Lions earlier this year. Where Waco High won at Lake Belton 3 to nothing. Waco High trying to tie the game here. Pulling those double teamed as he tries to get to the back line. It's going to go into the corner. Waco High with a scoring opportunity here off of a corner kick. Pulling sets up. Or excuse me. Pineda sets up for that kick. Knocked away, though, by Lake Belton. Got a foul called. And looks like Waco's going to get a free kick here. So another chance for Waco High to tie the game up here. The free kick from close range. Pineda getting set to take that kick. Shoots it too high and too far. Lake Belton with a two to one lead with under 10 minutes left to play. <laughs> Battle on the far sideline. Wake Ohio trying to keep possession, keep it in their end of the field, but a good job by the defense to clear it out. Maybe another scoring opportunity here for Waco. Offside, though, is called against Waco High. 
Jonathan Middleton got out ahead of the ball. Eight minutes left to go. Ball finally settled down. Lake Belton on the move from the right side. Waco steals it away for the moment. Good passing there by Waco High teammates. Ball cleared out by the defense. Yada comes up. Now we have a stoppage of play. As Lake Belton had a man go down, Nathan Ogden. He's going to go to the sideline and be replaced by Dawson Young. Going to get the free kick here. Let's go, Broncos. Seven minutes remain in a one goal game. Mike Belton on top, two to one. Pass over into the corner, going to be a little too strong for Cash Robin to run down. It'll be a throw in for Waco High. Kick toward goal. Keeper comes out and takes care of it. Teams once again battling for control at mid pitch. Lake Belton takes charge for the moment, but Waco takes it right back. Waco trailing by a goal. Some good passing here. Ball's out of bounds off of Lake Belton. Waco will take the throw in. Alvera. Ball once again going to be knocked out of bounds. And a throw in for the Lions. Alvera to take that throw. Off the chest of Pineda. Waiting for the ball to come down. Goes out of bounds. Be a corner kick for Waco High. Chance to tie it here. Daniel Reyes sets it up. Too strong, maybe. Ball finally rattles in. Not sure who's got the goal there, but Daniel Reyes may get credit for that just because of how it ricocheted around. His teammates are certainly congratulating him. Comes with 5.03 left to go, and we're all tied up at two apiece. Reyes with the corner kick. Had it. Pinball in front of the goal and managed to go in. Not, not so certain that it didn't go in off of a Lake Belton Bronco. So two goals apiece. Lake Belton trying to answer quickly here. That's knocked out of bounds. What a nice defensive play by Jonathan Guerrero. Belton will take the throw in. Tristan Robin. Go, 
Headed out by the Waco defense. Olvera is the one who kicks it up, up ahead, up to Pineda. Pineda with the pass. Picks up the dribble. Waco still on the move. Olvera all the way across pitch. So again, Olvera passes it up. Into the right corner. Waco High trying to make a scoring opportunity out of it. And Waco High will get a throw in. Angel Lacuna set to do the throw in. Now we once again have time stopped with 347 left. As the Broncos, Efren Reyes, Lopez leaving the pitch with an injury. Sanders will come back in for him. Back to play. Centered up, headed toward the goal and too high. Waco High's best chance to take their first lead of the game just went over the top of the crossbar. Big kick there by Daniel Reyes, but the keeper comes out and stops it. Maybe another scoring opportunity averted there by Hudson. Three minutes exactly left to go in the 2-2 contest. Handball called. Blanco gets the free kick here. Daniel Reyes. Kicks it toward the goal. Kicked right back to the keeper. Micah Hudson's been a busy boy. Waco high here late in the game. Has put on a lot of pressure. Stoppage of play, handball. I believe that was on Cash Robin. Gonna give Waco another free kick with two minutes left to play. Ball defended well. And we do have a pushing foul called against Lake Belton. But Waco High will get another scoring opportunity here with a free kick from short range. Daniel Reyes setting up for that kick. Clock rolls with a minute 15 to go. Ball is gonna be knocked across the back line. So Waco gets a corner kick. This is how they scored their last goal was on a corner kick. Centered up, missed the header, goes out of bounds, a throw in for Lake Belton. Under a minute to play. Lake Belton two, Waco high two. Couple of new players in the game for Lake Belton, Angel Mirrorless and Felix New. Lake Belton with the throw in. Couple of headers by Olvera trying to keep a scoring opportunity alive. Shot toward goal. Once again, knocked down by Hudson. 15 seconds left to go. Whistle and a foul. Lake Ohio with a free kick. Shot toward goal is knocked away as the time expires. And we finish regulation all tied up. 
at Waco 2 and Lake Belton 2. In the past, what they've done is they've had not one, but two overtime periods of five minutes. Each one gets the win. Yeah, yeah. But each, it's five minutes each. And if you're still, if you're still tied after that, then you go to penalty kicks. That's what it used to be. Now, whether they better change the rules, I don't know, but that's what I'm expecting. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, we finished regulation tied at two, so it looks like we're going to penalty kicks to decide this one. The officials meeting with the captains to decide who's going to go first. And the five players who will be utilized for the penalty kicks out on the field. Both keepers are at the goal to our left. That's the goal that has the wind at the back of the kicker. So we are trying to find a winner in this one by way of penalty kicks. The five out there for Waco High include Max Pineda, Gail Oliveira, Pierre Diata, and the five for Lake Belton include Hector Herrera, Angel Miralis, also Dawson Young. We'll identify them as they each come up. It appears that Lake Belton's going to get the first opportunity. As the Waco keeper, Roberto Alarcon, is in goal. First up for Lake Belton will be Young. Again, they have the wind at their back blowing anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. He's able to score. Dawson Young puts Lake Belton up 1-0. Now Waco High must answer. Johan Guerrero will be the lion to try to tie it up. And he's 
was able to do so. Next up for the Broncos will be number 10, Hector Herrera. Notice how strong the wind is blowing the ball off the spot that Herrera had set up. Sends it into the left corner. It's two to one. So up now for Waco High is Daniel Reyes. against the Broncos keeper, Micah Hudson. He too hits the left corner. Lake Belton now goes to Felix New. Lake Ohio keeper Roberto Alarcon trying to set up for a block here. That one kicked too high. Over the top of the crossbar. Opens the door for Waco High. And Max Pineda. Against the keeper, Micah Hudson. Pineda had one of the two goals during regulation for Waco High. And Hudson's able to block it. For the Broncos, it's 16, Nathan Sanders. Sanders hits the top of the net. It's good. Waco has Gail Alvera. Up for Lake Belton is Angel Mirrorless. Stopped 
Down by Alarcon. So here's Pierre Diada with a chance to win it for Waco High. Diada Jr. is trying to find a spot to win it and does so in the left corner. And a shootout. Waco High the winner. Score tied at the end of regulation at two. But Waco High able to pull off the victory. In the shootout, four to three. So Waco High runs its record now to 12, three and three on the year. Eight and one in district play, while Belton, Lake Belton falls to 10, six and two on the season and five and four in the district standings. That'll do it for us tonight here from the new Paul Tyson Field on the campus of Waco High. I'd like to thank all of those from Leaping Lions Productions who helped bring you the pictures and descriptions of this one and remind you that this has been a presentation of Leaping Lions Productions. <laughs>